Get up. Time. Time. Time is important. Time is important. Time is very, very important. Three games, four years to go. What do paralytic do? That is four years to go means immediately after one paralytic game. When we came from London, what did they do? Training was meant to capacitate the administrative ability of heads of various sporting disciplines in the country on the organization of athletes for both local and international competitions. Facilitator Sierra Leone chef de mission Eunice Adin Kagbo said Sierra Leone most times missed out of major competitions because they lack the technical ability to prepare the athletes to the time required by organizers of such competitions. He therefore emphasized the importance of time in competition planning, making reference to the 2016 Olympics in Brazil, which he said serious structures and rigorous planning are underway despite having a year and more to Four for two four to two years. That is immediately after one Paralympic Games, the plan for the next games starts. Do not wait to say if I force. Immediately after one Paralympic Games, you start the training for the next Paralympic Games. Okay, now, what you must know that is that everything is different. Basketball is different from football. Um, and their mechanics are different. Volleyball is different from uh, you know, swimming and the mechanics are different. So if you want to organize games, you must know that everything is different. Unisad in Kagbo said the role of the chef de mission cannot be underestimated as organizers deal with him directly. He said coordination is important for the growth of not only para sports but sports generally. Before the certification process, participants were divided into three groups to implement what they have learned and later made presentations. The Deputy Minister of Sports, Ishmael Al Sanko Conte, in his statement, said he was impressed with the work of Unisad in Kago, who is the first and only Paralympic lecturer in the country to train athletes and administrators to improve para sports for subsequent competitions. The Deputy Minister said his ministry is working hard to give even opportunities to all disciplines to implement their plans when the Ebola will have gone. I've attended several training programs which uh, the NOC have supported, but the commonalities in all of these programs is uh, the master trainer or the, instru or the instructor are foreigners. But today, we are seeing our brother, Unique. I mean, who is our... Uh, after the end of the Ebola scourge, I mean, as a ministry, Sports Council will converge um, various, I mean, coaches, experts in sport development to see how best we can draw a program, a program that will match our young people a program that will center around all the major sporting disciplines. And the new trend in the ministry, uh, of course, we don't want to be concentrating now totally on football alone. Mm, that's also, good news. We want to, we want to give, we want to give a kind of divergence. We want to, we want, we want to, we want to bring, I mean, other, other major sporting disciplines. Yeah. Participants expressed their appreciation and pledged to implement what they have learned for the development of para sports. Before now, we are journalists. We used to say a lot, oh, UDK, you don't sell place to this, you don't do this, UDK don't do this, NOC, they don't take people there. But from what I have been taught today by UDK and what I saw from the manga to put together, I think I have learned a lot, and for today, my perception <laughs> about the role of Chef the Mission and organization of Olympic and Paralympic Games have changed. We've learned something that was in, in the darkness. Before, we didn't know much about the Paralympics. Today, we've learned, and I'd like to appeal to my fellow colleagues who are technical people. It, this
training, it is not just for Paralympics. It is for every event, every sporting discipline. Who learn, who realize why we're going to the to games as participants and not competitors. This is my first time, but I'm very, very happy because I've learned a lot. I've never known about this Paralympics and competitions. We've never been taught. As a teacher, I've never been taught in college and I've never seen where it is done. But with this, I'm very, very happy because I've learned a lot. The presentation of certificates by the Deputy Minister of Sports formed the high points of the training.